Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Rob Cook from the CSE or the Canadian Securities Exchange. How are you this morning? I'm just great. Thanks, Tracy. So hockey stick performance in the market. Let's talk about the CSE. You have outperformed pretty much everybody. Can you give us some of the highlights, Rob? Well, the highlights uh, have gone on for, for many years, but it's been, it's been the, the last couple of years that we've seen the hockey stick that we were always hoping would, would come about. And we had, we had a lot of confidence that it would um, because you know we just win over one person at a time. Uh, to, to our exchange, to our market model, uh, to the way that we do business. And uh, it's been very gratifying uh, to see the, the, the recent results. The number of companies that are listing, the amount of money that they're raising and financing has just been tremendous. So let's talk to the numbers. And many investors out there are a little more short-term memory and they're looking forward. Right. Is it, um, so with the CSE, your market cap has increased from X to X in the last year. It's increased from a little over four billion to close to fourteen billion. In addition to that, how many how many new companies have listed in the last year? I couldn't tell you on twelve months, but I do know on nine months. I think we're up uh, hundred and twenty six companies, which is going to already exceeded our our largest year before. I've always perceived it to be a fallacy that your volume of trading is lower than other exchanges. Can right. you correct? that fallacy? Yes, quite easily. Um, one of the things that uh, we look at is, is a turnover ratio, which measures the value of the trading divided by the market cap of the stocks, and despite the fact that you know, our market cap has been rising, so is the trading volume. So we routinely, we just look at it on a monthly basis. Um, using that measure, the liquidity on the CSE has exceeded that of the TSX and the Venture Exchange for well over two years. Um, we don't tell people that that means that we have a more liquid market. We tell people that that means we have a no less liquid market. What we have today and, you know, for the recent past, is we have stocks that investors are really interested in trading. So it's extremely active. I was recently speaking at an investment conference and I was stating that, you know, one of the areas we are following are the Americans that have started to trade in Canada and list specifically on the CSE. Yeah. Um, are they all cannabis stocks or are you actually getting other types of stories right now, Rob? We're getting uh, a few other stories and uh, they're because of the increased interest in the cannabis sector and the fact that we have had several from the United States that have come to us already, uh, it's broadened the awareness. Uh, but we've, uh, we've always had a few. When we launched our exchange in 2003, we only had three companies and one of those was American. And that company raised about $100 million while it was listed on the CSE. So there's always been some interest from the United States. Latterly, it's been the cannabis sector. We're the only stock exchange in North America that will list a company that has um, cannabis assets in the United States. Uh, we have approximately 40 of them at the moment. Most of those are Canadian companies, however, uh, that have gone south, uh, set up operations or acquired interests, mostly in the medical marijuana space. Uh, and we've also seen more and more large cap companies come north of the border, uh, not just to get a listing, but to get financed because it's a very growing industry and it's a very competitive industry and they want to raise capital so that they can grow fast. And of course, we both know that with public, with the public markets, these companies are trying to build shareholder value. They are trying to secure financings. Yeah. Can you tell me what the competitive advantage is for listing on the CSE? Well, the competitive advantage has, has always been um, what our mission statement is, and that's reduce the cost of capital for emerging companies. And how do we do that? Well, we charge low fees. And we have what, a, what we call a streamlined regulation program that allows the company to focus on their business, reduces the regulatory burden uh, without dispensing with rules. We have rules like other stock exchanges, um, but the companies um, have to honor those rules, but they don't have to come to us every time they have a transaction and ask us for approval. That enables them to move quicker 
and focus on their business. Uh, we call it a reduced friction cost. So, and the companies tell us that our low fees are nice uh, and they don't want us to change that, but that they appreciate more the reduced friction cost. So Rob, as the, as the market development head for the CSC or the Canadian Securities Exchange, what should we expect maybe in the next uh, six months? Can you give us, share anything with us? What are you focused on? Well, we, we've uh, recently, our CEO and, and our head of listings development uh, have spent some time in Israel uh, and they've met with a lot of technology companies there. Uh, so we're seeing increasing interest. We already have applications on hand from, I think, three of them. Uh, and we're expecting uh, several more. Uh, we have a new um, business development uh, person who's currently in Singapore. Uh, and he's meeting with companies there. Uh, he's actually uh, being accompanied by people from the OTC Markets Group in the United States because they have a couple of regulated boards uh, called the QB and the QX. And any of the CSE companies that want to get traded in the United States can easily access that market. Uh, and that works out very well for them. So let me just reconfirm. You went from four billion to 14 billion in one year? Yes. So what should we expect this next year? Are you gonna try and repeat that? <laughs> well, we don't have a crystal ball. Um, that kind of growth, you, know, you, you can never promise. Uh, we do know that there are uh, over 100 companies that have applied uh, for listing that we have yet to, to um, complete uh, the reviews, uh, but we are working very fast on that and we've staffed up, uh, so that's been going very well. And some of those will be um, you know, worth hundreds of millions of dollars, so the, um, the market cap could increase. Then again, it's a market, markets are volatile, prices drop, the market cap drops. So we don't know, but we do know that there's a growing number of companies coming that adds to our market cap. And I think there's a growing percentage that are going to have a market cap of well over $100 million. For our investor intel audience, our theme here is we focus on what works. Clearly the CSC is working. So thank you for joining us today, Rob. It's always a pleasure. Right, thank you very much.